what's up guys you're welcome once again to david data channel where we talk about data science productivity and faith and um, on today's video we're going to be talking about dbt seeds um, we've talked about how to start your dbt project how to um, set up your dbt core um, dbt models what they are and um, today we're talking about dbt seeds right so as you can see from our documentation here on dbt um, it says seeds are simply CSV files in your dbt project typically in your seeds directory that dbt can load into your data warehouse using the dbt seed command right so if you use dbt run dbt build dbt test command try the other commands on dbt and one of them is dbt seeds now seeds can be referenced in your downstream models the same way you can reference models using your ref functions now um, one of the good things about seeds is that seeds they are located in your dbt repository they are version controlled they are code reviewable and they are best suited for static data that doesn't change frequently some of the use cases we have here on dbt docs uh, is a list of mappings of country codes to country names a list of test emails to exclude from analysis a list of employee account ids it could also be um a list showing your targets call for maybe sales managers uh showing their targets right for sales managers that kind of a thing yeah but really they are best suited for data that doesn't change or say information about the, your, your businesses that would that are unlikely to change in a very long time right and um poor use of dbtc is would be loading raw data would be loading raw data that has been exported to a csv right and also um for saving personal identifiable information so quickly we are going to go to dbt right now and remember your dbt seeds and your seeds directory so i'm just going to copy this um stuff and then we'll go to our dbt our project on vs code right all right so we'll go to seeds directory and um i will create a new file in the seeds directory i'm going to call this country codes country codes dot csv let me make it a sneak kiss. All right, so I'm going to paste this in here. And so dbt will see this as a CSV file that has country code and country name. US, United States, CA, Canada, GB, United Kingdom. I could add NGR, Nigeria. Um, I could add... Um, QA as Qatar. Yeah, really. You see, these, these things wouldn't change, right? They wouldn't change for anything. And then we're going to add, um, let's say we add Brazil. Let's say BR, BRA, and we call this Brazil. And so we save this file. So let's run our dbt debug to confirm our connection right so you can check the first video on how to set up your project on how to like set up your dbt project right so yeah running dbt debug to confirm our connection all checks passed so we're going to run dbt seed so it can push this to our data warehouse so dbt seed all right so Found three models, one test, zero snapshots. Yep, yep, yep. Targets are dev environment as we have set up. And it's running. Oh, interesting. Error. What's the error? Error while reading data. CSV table references position one, but line sign that 103 contains only one column. Only one column. What could be the error? I think that was the error. Let me see. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right, successful. So our dbt run our dbt seed run was successful if we go to our bigquery project now on our um our target schema for our dbt run job right on our development stage um so i'm just going to refresh this now on bigquery and then so we'll see that Ok, 
Okay. Yeah, so we see country code comes in as a table with the two columns, country code and country name. You find the details that regular, like a regular table on BigQuery, and if you preview it, we see what we just did here. So with this, you can reference this uh seed on dbt right in a model say let's see i want to do let me see uh let me just do something simple let's see i create a new file and i call this all countries that's sql and uh, i'm saying select star select star from I use the ref function, right? Because you can reference seeds the same way you can reference um, models as well. I'm going to reference this country code. All right, and I save. So I'm going to do dbt run. So with your dbt commands, you can select a particular model. I'm just going to run dbt set, um, run all country. That's why I have this double. Um, double dash select and then all country and i run so dbt has says i now have four models right so let's see successful so if we come here and run this we'll see let's refresh this right open our target schema we see all country in here the same thing right so really dbt seeds are beautiful and the good thing is that you can make reference to them and use them in your joinings on your analysis your metric creation to reference so basically to help you reference data that do not change all the time all right so one of the beautiful things about dbt seeds is that your seeds can also be documented just the same way you document your models right so um in our yaml file um on here we can just add uh we have our sources uh session we have our model session we can also have our seeds um yeah and then the same format yeah the same format and indentation and what's our seed called country code country code let's see what else we have there complete description you can put columns, right? That's the thing. Everything you can even add tests, right, to your columns. Um, the several tests are available on DBT. That's the thing. Yeah. So, there, DBT seeds is a good way to improve your projects, right? So, I'm just gonna do a full DBT run now to run all the models. Awesome. So, great. All right. So, I hope you got a thing or two out of this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button, and also drop your thoughts in the comment section. Alright, thanks. Bye.